Howdy people, it's time for another review and we're looking at Beachhead 2 on the ZX Spectrum which was the sequel to Beachhead. I think you could have worked that out. Anyway, this is called Beachhead 2, The Dictator Strikes Back. Quite similar to The Empire Strikes Back but I'm sure that's just uh, um, a coincidence. It's published by US Gold in 1985. It's a puzzle type shooter military game. Also come out on the Amstrad CPC, uh, the Atari 8-bits and the Commodore 64. It consists of five mini stages, parachute assault, frontal attack, uh, one called protect the hostages, evacuate the hostages and then showdown. Let's see how this played. Now I didn't mind uh, the original uh, beachhead although it was a bit slow in places so very interesting to see how this one works. You are controlling a player called, well you don't see him, but you are commander striker and you must take down this dictator who's generally up to no good. Enter the name of the allies, well that'll be me of course. Here we go. So this one's called Parachute Assault. I'm controlling this red helicopter here and I must parachute my men onto this first platform without getting shot by that gun turret at the bottom. So yes, I have to work out where he's firing and then drop my men off um, as far away as possible. Exciting stuff. Now there's quite a lot of men here. Is this boring? Well, um, a little bit. Oops, that bloke's died. If I drop them off too near the ground, they seem to die, but um, I don't quite understand the topography of this, but I'm dropping them on an island, and then they run behind that wall. I think that's what's happening. And then after we've done that, it's front to attack, which is again this screen, where we go from those small walls in the background, where they're only small because they're far away, to these second uh, walls. Which, thank God the enemy have put these walls up, because it uh, forms a great barrier between us and the gun turret. Now I don't know why this gun turret can't blast these walls into smithereens, but uh, that's their weakness. I've always wanted to fly a red helicopter, backward and forward. Well, I don't know what mountain that is, Mount Fuji, perhaps, with its magenta with a bit of uh, snow on the top. Right, how many men? There's t my one criticism of this, there's too many men to drop off, which make the game a bit longer. But this stage is by far the most interesting in the whole of the game. So it's not going to get much better than this, folks. Right, stage two, front to attack. Now there's this white thing, cursor. When I press the fire button, I activate one of my men and direct which direction I want them to go, left or right. So that's one guy behind the wall. I hope you can contain your excitement here. But yes, it's a little bit dull, this game, to say the least. Uh, stage five, the showdown, which I doubt we'll get to, involves you with a face-to-face -face attack against the dictator where you're either side of the river and must knock each other in using uh, punter sticks, which is like javelins. So that's how all battles should end, isn't it, really? The Iraqi crisis, World War II, um, yeah. Churchill versus Hitler with uh, punter sticks either side of a river. And then Hitler falls in. Perfect. Oh, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to keep through the whole of this review. Uh, Beachhead, the original one, was a bit quicker than this. It would have been okay, but I've got far too many soldiers here. And it's going to stay roughly like this for quite some time to come. And the guys seem to be able to dodge this fire quite quickly. I only select one direction and they just keep going for it. But you'll see the green dots above those four walls. That's how many men I've got left behind each one. So there's not much skill involved in this, there's not much sense of achievement with this first bit. So this is the amazing stage 2. What's been your favourite stage so far? Stage 1, parachute assault, which is pretty exciting with a helicopter in it. Or stage 2, frontal attack. Anyway, uh, after this bit, we then uh, run out to try and get to the uh, bottom wall, where that turret is, and we can uh, launch, if I time it right, grenades uh, to try and blow up that gun turret. If we do, I think it's replaced by another gun turret. I can activate uh, decoys by men jumping over the wall while another man comes out and tries to, uh, well, take out that turret. But as I say, it just replaces itself with another one, so it's rather pointless. Good old 8-bit technology. 1985 this was, the same year that Back to the Future come out, and the 80s, what a great era. So uh, yeah, people growing up today who play PlayStation 4s, I'm sure you watched this video and uh, think, thank goodness I wasn't growing up in this era. But it was a fun era, it was a simpler time, and this was a very simple game. It's a sort of thing where you thought, I can program this, and you probably could do. Here's my point, I'm the ally, Dicta Dictator's got some points as well for some reason. 
But uh, yeah, I don't know what the Dictator's game is. I'm not sure how well this sell sold. I, I doubt it sold as much as the original Beachhead. The only reason I'm saying that is because, to my knowledge, there wasn't a Beachhead 3. Right. There's my decoy. Right, let's throw a grenade. Hopefully that hits. Oh, I think my man's died. Oh, there's a grenade. Will it blow it up? No, like the Death Star, it just impacted on the surface. We have to hit that thing pretty precise, bang in the middle, I think. Or a number of shots, at least. Go, go, go. I think that's going to miss, isn't it? Boom, a nice square full stop grenade. That's what you need. That's 8-bit technology for you. I don't think this has been... Has been uh, remade recently. There's no HD uh, remake on this on any of the next gen consoles. Go, go, run for cover. Right, here we go. Two men, fire your grenade, mate. Please blow it up. I want to blow it up at least once in this review. Not good enough. Not good enough. Now, if I can get to stage three, which I hope I can do, um, that's going to be a triumph here. It's called Protect the Hostages. I'm basically uh, a hostage, which is like a white stick man, runs from left to right, and you must blow up everything in his path so you can get across the screen, which involves tanks, bombs, and who knows what else. Yeah. So, uh, I think you're starting to agree now, aren't you? This stage is lasting way too long. Uh, yeah. It's not, it's not really that fun to play this game. If you disagree, comment below, but I've, I've got this game as middling. I very much doubt it'll be in first place when we do the uh, the two week roundup, but uh, you never know. I might be influenced by loads of comments below think, saying this is the best game ever, it's most exciting and what you're going on about Nick, it doesn't get much more exciting than this. Well at the moment I'd have to disagree if you say that, maybe you're pulling my leg or something. The uh, sound's a bit monotonous as well, that, that they could have just gone on and off with that, but it's constant. No, I didn't destroy it again. How many men have I got left? I don't know. Still loads. Ugh. Right, perhaps it's the Green Cross Code Man. Look once, look twice, um, look left again and uh, avoid the missiles. That must be it. Yes, kaboom! That's that blown up, only to be replaced by an identical turret. This enemy are relentless. A bit like Terminator 2 or something. Is that going to bang, bang on? Yes! No! And still it goes on! It'd be good if there was a counter telling you how many men you had left here. How many men are behind that wall? It would have been better with a helicopter if i just gone and bombed the turret straight away. But we're trying to rescue hostages here that the dictator has kidnapped for reasons unknown. No, still not blown up. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I can take with this. We'll hopefully get to the next stage, but who knows? I've got a lot of men down the bottom here. Maybe that's enough to get to the next bit. I hope. Come on, lads. If we can destroy another one. Oh, that bloke was in no man's land. He got riddled with bullets, and it's all my own fault. Right, another man over the wall. Maybe the A team music would have been better. This is on the 48k spectrum, if you was wondering. I don't know, there's an amazing 128k version which plays daring music here. Maybe the A team. But this one is, uh, yeah. How long have we been playing this? It feels like four days, but it, it isn't even ten minutes yet. Ugh. This is one of those games where loading it up is more exciting than actually playing it. It's a good premise, but it's just a bit too long. Needs more mini games in it, really. When I uh, reviewed Beachhead, if you left it at the start too long, it did cycle through all the levels. This one doesn't do that, it only shows you the first two levels, so I won't be doing that. So you just have to take my description. This is Frontal Attack. Next, protect the hostages, which I've sort of explained, which hopefully we'll see, but I can't guarantee it. Then it's evacuate the hostages, which involves some sort of helicopter play. And then the showdown with the amazing punter sticks. Ah, uh, you're not missing much, folks. Come on. Right, hopefully that's the last guy. Is that the last guy? We know it isn't. 
Why can't they all jump over the wall at the same time? They've got a much better chance then. Why is it one at a time? Single file. Oh, God. Right. Bomb it. We've already destroyed one turret. If we bomb this one, then we know uh, it's going to replace by another one. Oh, that was a direct hit, wasn't it? Why did it blow up? Perhaps it's got a force field around it. Oh, it's tough being in the army, isn't it? Well, it's good if there's not a war on. If you're in the army and there is a war, then that's trouble. I think if I was conscripted to the army, I'd be pretty useless because my strength is weak. I'd have to be in the entertainment corps or something. Oh, dude, we've done it, have we? Have we done it? Have we done it? Maybe I'd be a comedian or something. Oh, there we go. Right, here's the hostage here. Running across in white. And I've got the turret at the bottom. And I've got a clearer path for him. And I'm not doing a very good job. And he's just been killed by that landmine thing. There's a, a tractor or a snowplow going down the bottom. Right, let's focus on this tank. Cause that's going to cause problems for our hostages. Again, going through one at a time. He's not moving very fast, is he, this hostage? Oh, come on. I'm losing all my hostages here. Uh, well, I can't shoot the hostage. Right, I need to get that blue thing out of the way. It's not blowing up. Come on, blow up, tank. Oh, God, this isn't going well. Why isn't that tank blowing up? It blew up well in the demo. Maybe there's something I'm not doing. Oh, no. Why would a hostage run towards a tank anyway? Just come nearer the camera. Worst tactics ever as he gets run over. Right, run round the tank. Here's the next hostage. He's seen the last three hostages and now this is his tactics. Do exactly the same thing again because it worked out really bad. This is when, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Unless you're being run over by a tank each time. Then maybe, maybe think of something else. Oh dear, I don't really get off these stage. This, these hostages are stupid and that tank won't blow up. Maybe I have to hit it in a precise position. It might drive off the screen soon anyway. That's an interesting barracks there. There's two pink doors or magenta doors with doorknobs on opposite sides and there's green doors in the middle. It looks like some sort of U club. Maybe they've got a snooker table in there, a pool table and uh, a few other bits and pieces. What else is in a U club? I've never been and it's too old for me to go there now unless I'm in disguise and then that just looks too dodgy so I won't be doing it. I'll probably get run over by a tank as soon as I try to get in. Right, I've got one hostage left, it says. Let's see how he does. Or she does. It's hard to tell with this dish. <laughs> and he got run over again. Well, who'd have thought that would happen? Me, actually. Oh, I've got one left. And, uh Oh, he's passed, is he? Well done, he's run past the tank. Right, I think we're going to do it now, then. We can rescue one hostage. Get a move on. Get a move on, kid. Speed it. Can you get past this blue thing? No. Damn blast. Blast damn. Well, I haven't rescued any of the hostages with my amazing army. Well, anyway, I hope you liked having a look at that one, weird as it was. Beachhead 2, The Dictator Strikes Back on the ZX Spectrum. Published by US Gold in 1985. Thanks for watching as always. And until next time, as we listen to this wonderful music... Yes, until next time, take care, and goodbye. Goodbye.